Around the puck, uh, net it comes to the right point. Held in on the skate of Palmieri, catching up to it, throws it in the corner. Maroon, give and go Palmieri in the slot, a shot save, rebound. And now in front, a nice play by Landry as Poulin lost his stick, was briefly out of position. Meanwhile, Sexton trying to get to it behind the net, played nicely by Poulin. Sound Tigers get it stripped. Here's Hosoffel, two on one, pass across shot. Oh, what a leg save! Kevin Poulin denying Sexton at the doorstep. Here's Maroon. The big winger along the right side will chip it by Frischman. They battle in the far wing corner, and Frischman got hammered and boarded. No call, and now Wishart has dropped the gloves with Pat Maroon. Frischman struggling right now to get up. Ty Wisher not a fighter. Pat Maroon, triple digits in penalty minutes, and he shows it there. He gets a couple of rights in on Wishart, who goes down. But credit Ty Wisher for defending his teammate. A non-call on what should have been a boarding penalty against Pat Maroon with 9.25 to go. Right point. Genzel swings it around to Kamiski. Back to Genzel right point. Gabe Genzel. Far circle. Across ice pass. Sexton holding, holding. Fires one off the arm of Pullin. That top corner was open for Dan Sexton. A nice save for Maxi Mason Hour. Kind of a veteran trade as it's pass in front. Caputi able to get a piece of it and then knocked off the crossbar by Hosoffel. And cleared by Kevin Poulin. Mark Kadic moving to his right. Top of the left circle. Romano to Rakshani. Holding pass across. They score! And the Sound Tigers take a 1-0 lead with 6.31 to go here in the first period of power play tally. As it was Tony Romano and Rhett Rakshani again. A working two-man game. And Romano looked like to be the last one touching it in front to give the Sound Tigers a 1-0 lead. 25 left in the penalty on Kamiski. Mulrat in the corner. Alstrom swings the pass across. Now it's dropped back. Landry right side. Shot save. Rebound. Score! David Alstrom at the top of the blue paint. Knocks through the rebound off the pads of Parkey after the initial drive by Calvin DeHaan and the Sound Tigers. With two power play goals in the first, they lead Syracuse 2 to nothing. Swings at right side. Carl from the circle. Shot and a big save. Rebound high slot. Jacques able to take it away from Riley. Gives it back to Palmieri. Down low Maroon. Chip pass across the shot. Big save made. Poulin diving. It's back in front. They score. On the rebound, Maroon was able to slide it through the five hole of Poulin, who made a couple of outstanding stops in that sequence. Never could quite control the puck. And Pat Maroon has himself a goal. His 32nd of the year. That ties him with his teammate, Kyle Palmieri and it puts the crunch on the board. A 2-1 Sound Tiger lead with 11.38 to play in the second. Kaminsky will play it deep in his own zone. He's at the black back line with Clark. McMillan up front. Meanwhile, there's a free stick out there on the ice. Passing the slot. Alstrom with a shot and he scores! David Alstrom with his second goal tonight. A minute 38 to go as he gets one late here in the second. And the Sound Tigers are back on top by a couple. Blows by Wishart. McMillan with it in the corner. Now Howes meets him there. Pass around back to the right point. Matthew Carl sends it in. Say made. Rebound put on goal. And a big save made off the right leg pad of Poulin denying McMillan in front. He tried to lob it ahead. Ozafo gloves it down. Down to the right side for McMillan. In front of Palmieri who is stoned on a great club save by Poulin. Palmieri one time and then in front. And Poulin says not in my house. As the puck's still live on the near side. Back to the left point for Gensel. Gensel holding here. Gensel threads the needle. Deflected off Poulin. Now Palmieri chips it back to the high slot and it comes loose. And it's won by Syracuse. Carl has it poked away. Meanwhile, penalty coming. Pearson tripped up trying to get to the loose puck in the neutral zone. And now the Sound Tigers are going to go on the power play with 12 and a half seconds remaining. Romano wins the draw. Here's Rakshani left side. Dumps it in behind. Ulster made the play. Gives it behind Romano. Romano to Rakshani far corner. Off of him. Romano back with it. Three seconds to play. Here's Romano. Try to stuff it in the far post. Torquey to save. Sharp angle try, but time runs out. And the Sound Tigers win their seventh straight. Three to one the final over Syracuse. And the Crunches 11 game point three comes to an end. But the Bridgeport Sound Tigers take another step forward in securing the Northeast Division crown. A brilliant performance tonight for Kevin Poulin. He wins his seven straight and improves to 24-17-4 on this season. We